Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be going over some uh, old comments on my YouTube channel. Some of them old, some of them more recent. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting at home here bored and I thought, what better idea than to look at some old comments and make some fun content off of it. There's going to be some, uh, some funny comments, some compliments, and some hate comments maybe sprinkled in here. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we find. So, let's dive right in. All right, so the first comment we have is from Josh Ribeiro, 333, and he says, this is the content I live for. I believe this was on a uh, beach vlog down in Long Beach, so Ribs, thank you for the nice comment. I appreciate the kind words. You know, it's kind of crazy thinking that people actually watch my videos. Sometimes I'll think that, I'll be like, wow, like, people find this enjoyable, it's kind of cool. So Ribs, thanks for the comment, dude, I appreciate it. Good guy, Josh Ribeiro, and um, also a star in some uh, past vlogs, so good dude all around. Next up, Keith Huffman 9429 says, ditch the bird cage. Now, for those of you not too familiar with hockey, what he's referring to is the, uh, the, the full face shield, the full cage that I wear. And for context, uh, I played two years of junior hockey. In junior hockey, you're allowed to do the half visor. But, you know, I didn't want to do the half visor. I kind of like the way my face looks. You know, I wanted to keep it kind of nice. So um, that's why I had the full shield. Uh, you know, I've, I've witnessed some guys lose teeth. So, you know, I, I can live without taking a high stick to the face, okay, in tier three junior hockey. I'm not in the NHL, all right? So it, it wasn't worth it for me. I will say though, my uh, first year in Long Beach, I had some terrible style. I spray painted a cage black rather than just getting a black cage I spray painted my gray cage black and it just the paint chipped away like multiple times throughout the year and so I had to repaint it multiple times and by the end of the season it just it looked terrible and I was still rocking it for whatever reason but if you get the all black cage or whatever it's it looks sick so anyways I believe this next comment was on the same video Dead guy number one says that is way too much trash to keep open in the kitchen. <laughs> this is uh, referring to the team house, second year in Long Beach. Um, fun time, fun time. It was it was definitely a little crazy, but uh, very fun experience living with the boys. I will say it was a little dirty at times, a little dirty. Um, trash Mountain kind of made itself known by the end of the year. But that's okay. And you know, it, the guy number one, if you think that's way too much trash to keep open in the kitchen, you should have seen the uh, potatoes we had in the cabinet. So uh, the trash was nothing, trust me. Jumping over to some uh, Little League World Series videos, some of my baseball highlights. Plural Arc says, when I saw this was a 16 minute vid, I was kind of hyped to see 50 plus moonshots. But 16 minutes to show only 22 at bats? It was kind of a chore watching this. My biggest beef with these compilation vids is having to wade through five or so multiple angle replays of the same event. Well, Plural Arc, I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately, I am the type of person who likes to see replays. So I'm sorry that you had to uh, sit through 16 minutes of baseball highlights. I'm sure that was such a torture. I do apologize though. Um, you know, maybe you can make some uh, highlight videos and show me how it's done. But I apologize that I could not get the uh, highlight videos up to bar, so gotta do better on my part, I guess. This next one is from a few summers ago. Trevor Flores says, why you got your damn shirt off in the vlog, little Reggie? Well, Trevor, because I can have my shirt off in the vlog. It's a free country. Uh, I'm in my own house. I'm pretty sure I can not wear a shirt if I wanna not wear a shirt, so. That is why I had my shirt off in the vlog, Trevor. That is why. One month ago. Okay, so this next one, this is from my latest vlog, my day in the life. Jonathan Castanon says, at 20 minutes, 30 seconds, Gabe is on his usual BS. It's moments like these where you, you feel your golf game start to slip, where the golf gods are trying to suck the life and the fun out of you. They're trying to humble you. But you just gotta control your brain and realize that you're better than this and that shots like that are unacceptable. Jonathan, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't really bullshit a lot. A lot of things that come out of my mouth, I like to think are uh, pretty logical and straightforward. So not really sure where the BS part comes from, but I will say something you should know about Jonathan, it's very easy to get in his head. And 
I'm the better golfer. So uh, he's taken his fair share of L's against me. He's probably just salty about that. Fanatical Teal Bleeder says, Just may be my favorite video in all of YouTube. I know it's debatable, but to me, he's the greatest shark of all time, and he's not done yet. When you play like that in the playoffs, you're the Teal Town GOAT in my book. I believe this was a uh, Logan Couture highlight video I made. Um, honestly, that just the fact that someone said it's their favorite video in all of YouTube, and it's a highlight video that I made, Kind of cool. So um, I, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Thank you very much, Fanatical Teal Bleeder. Glad you enjoy the content. Seven years ago, so this is uh, the 2016 Little League World Series, Batman34307 says, I still can't believe you've watched this video 186,000 times. Well, Batman34307, I believe I've watched it around 500,000 times now. And, you know, I got to say, it is a lot of work creating all those extra YouTube accounts and you know having to click through all my videos and get the views up so there's a lot that goes into it you know I, sometimes i can't believe i watched it that many times either <laughs> uh this is from the same video gc blitzball 5053 says it's sad this kid records the tv <laughs> and the funny thing is he's right because this was yeah this was 2016 this was the early days of my uh little league world series highlight video making and it was the early days of my uh, editing career, so I was kind of out to lunch, didn't really know what I was doing. Um, nowadays, I can actually make sports highlights, but back in the day, I did used to just record the TV. What I would do is, during the Little League World Series every year, I would record games on the DVR, and then watch back through each game, find the home runs, and literally just use my mom's phone to record each individual home run off of the TV. It was a lot of work. I gotta say, it was a lot of work. And, but I am surprised, this is one of the only comments I've found that recognized the fact that I was recording my TV. Because it was very obvious if you watch the videos that, I mean, the picture just didn't match. The sound quality was off. The, it, it was just, it was not very good. And those videos kind of popped off, so it's kind of crazy. I'm surprised more people didn't pick up on that. But it's funny to look back on that and remember that I actually did used to record the TV. So, yeah, that's just, it's just pretty funny. Batman34307 is back. He says, uh, bruh, why did the ref have to break up the fight? I assume this is from um, one of my high school hockey games. Let's see, that's, yeah, six years ago. Sounds about right. Well, that, that's just what refs do. You're not really supposed to fight. It's kind of the ref's job. I'm sure we would have beat up the other team anyways. Maybe that's why they had to break it up. Um, oh, and there was a reply to this. PCXD8TH says, hey, I'm a ref. I find it hard to believe that people want kids to have body damage at age 16. USA Hockey's number one priority is to keep everyone safe. Well, Batman34307, there's your answer. Jumping over to some of my uh, hockey edits here, some of my NHL highlight videos, Christian Matheson Jr. 1800 says, smooth mix, really smooth song choice and editing. Keep up the smooth work. Goal, hat trick. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. Um, a lot of those videos take you know, a decent amount of time to edit, and I'm pretty passionate about that stuff. I like making cool little edits like that, so I appreciate a nice comment like that. It, you know, it, it puts a smile on my face knowing people actually watch my stuff and appreciate the work I make, the work I do, so yeah, it's just, it's just cool to see that. And I'm glad you like the song choice. I believe this was uh, an Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner video. Um, to some Post Malone song. So, kind of random, but cool that people enjoy it. All right, jumping back over to some uh, baseball. I believe this was an Oakland A's video. Nate Braun, HU2XE, says, we shouldn't have traded Lizardo for Marte. I think we would have made the playoffs. Trust me, Nate, there's a lot of things the A's shouldn't have done. I don't even want to rant right now. I could. I'm going to refrain. Uh, the, the A's just... I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Three years ago, Jonathan Castanon says, why is Nico so aggressive with bad slams? Well, because I'm just simply better than him at wiffle ball. So I just would beat him up all the time. And that's probably what happened in that video. So uh, yeah, you know, Nico just couldn't handle the heat, I guess. I guess that's what it was. Trevor Flores uh, makes a return here. He says, they call me Smasher Stick Guy. Kind of an out of context uh, comment. Not sure what this was really supposed to mean in the context of the video, but 
If you don't know us about Smash or Stick Kite, I will say that is the greatest Minnesota twin of all time. He uh, he's a legend, okay. And um, for the viewers out there who have no idea what I'm talking about, I might just have to put a clip in here from an old video. So uh, here's a Smash or Stick guy update for you. So far in the majors, in about in his first month, he has nine home runs. And um, he, I'll have to get back to you on their stuff, but so far he has nine home runs and he has a couple of stolen bases. He's doing pretty good. He's had uh, two multi-home run games and he's doing great over there at second. The Twins are liking him for their new second baseman. Thanks, Trevor, for actually reminding me about the legend Smasher Stick Guy. Yarn Epic at uh, 50 seconds says, how is that even a trick shot? Well, Yarn Epic, I don't see you making trick shot videos. So, why the hate, dude? I don't, I don't really appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, I even replied to him here. Better than your basketball skills, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a little debatable, okay? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna beef with my boy Scotty like that. He's a, he's a, he's a solid hooper. He's got a nice jump shot, so uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm definitely not the better basketball player, okay? Let's just keep it real here. All right, YouTube, well, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable. I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to make it entertaining. Um, but yeah, uh, by the time you're seeing this video, I'll be launching into a throwback week. I'm uploading a bunch of old content and random videos that I just never uploaded. So um, I'm probably just gonna mix this in there somewhere. Kind of good timing, just the idea of making this video right when I'm uploading a bunch of old stuff. So yeah, no, uh, hope this was enjoyable. Uh, if you enjoyed my reactions and you wanna see more, let me know. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.